Hello automation and all lovers welcome back to KT sessions and in today's session we are going to see how can we use csv files in our uh, automation anywhere a360 so let's start so i have this csv file uh, which we are going to use in this uh, session all right so it contains data of the 10 employees you can see the name of the employee position department salary and date of joining and all so let me go to control room here i have opened this csv dashboard and uh, on the left hand side uh, when i search for csv i can see this uh, package csv text and it contains three action so we can use uh, all of all these three open read and close again first of all in open action we need to give the session name file path we can uh, select a variable of file type or if the file is available in control room so we can choose that file from here and uh, if the file is uh, available in our system or the string type of variable contains the file path so we can uh, assi uh, assign that variable here otherwise we can directly otherwise we can hard code the file path also okay so i am giving the file path here and uh, our file contains header so i will check this and this will be comma only and when we scroll down uh, we can uh, select this stream leading spaces stream trailing full spaces and encoding will be utf8 and the next action is read action in this we need to use the session name only and uh, we will get the output in table type of variable so i will create a table type variable which will be table from csv and uh, at the end we will close this session so in these three, three steps we will read the file uh, we will open the file we will read the file we will close the session but now we need to use this data okay so i am going to use a loop stage because our data is available in a data table so we can uh, iterate over that data with the help of loop so i will uh, select a uh, data table iterator for each row in table and uh, in this drop down we can select that data table which in which our data is available and uh, we will create a variable for uh, saving the records or the row of the table we will save that data we will save the table row data in this variable and uh, in this loop we will get the data so we can do one thing we can print that data so for uh, printing the data we will use this table row record table row and uh, if you know the column name you can give the name of the header or the column and uh, if you don't know the column name or uh, the column name is not uh, consistent or it can change so we can give the position of the column or the fields so if i need the data of the second field so i will give two that means three because our index start from zero so it will give the data of the third field or the third column so let me click on yes insert and uh, let me run the board let me open this csv again to show you in the third column we can see the first value is sharma so we got that and next one is varma then mehta singh gupta joshi kumar reddy patel and this i so this is how we can uh, get the data from the csv file and now we can uh, use this data i, I mean now we can uh, process this data as per our requirements so for example if uh, i want to apply some validations means if the salary is greater than this then do that uh, and otherwise do this so we can apply those type of conditions in our loop and uh, we can process uh, all data of all the employees now see there is one uh, more uh, type uh, there is one more uh, way to read the file so we can uh, eliminate this read action and uh, after this open action we can go to this loop and here in this loop we can uh, search for csv and text so it will read for each row in csv and txt 
so we can directly read the rows of the file after opening it and we will get the data in this record and then we can process this record so we can remove that uh, read action that is not required but still if it is there then there should be some use of that action also so let me show you what is the use of that action so if we are uh, directly uh, using the loop stage after uh, opening the file so in that case we will get the data in row forms means uh, we will get the row one by one and uh, we will get the data in the record type of variable now if you want to apply some actions or some operations on the data so now you will be able to apply operations on the record okay so for record we have these uh, four options or four actions available so we can add one more column in this record we can add as uh, we can assign the value we can delete the column and we can update the column okay but i want to update the data and uh, for example if i want to up make change in make uh, some changes in this whole table uh, means i want to add a column in this table okay so in that case we need to get the data in the data table first then we will be able to make the changes in the whole table and uh, when we search for data table here So we can see there are a lot of actions available for this data table. So if you want to apply some operation of which is available in this uh, data table uh, package. So you can get the data in data table and then you can apply that particular operation and uh, then you can uh, uh, process the data further. Okay. And uh, if you want to apply some changes or if you want to update the salary of, of a particular employee or if you want to make any change in particular record so you can get the data in a record otherwise you can get the data in the data table and in this data table we have uh, this write to file option also okay so let me show you one uh, program or one act so let's see how can we use this okay let me copy this let me write the code uh, code quickly and then I will show you how what what I'm doing here. Okay guys, so I, I have written this uh, code. So in this, first of all, we are going to open the CSV file. Then we will read the data and uh, then we will insert one column in this data table, table from CSV. This is the data table and uh, we will add one column in it and the name of the column is comments and type will be string and default value is nothing so let me close this okay and uh, you can see i am adding this column at the last index so we already have seven columns so it will add this uh, new column in in uh, index eight now we i have created a variable row number and uh, i have assigned zero to this now we will loop uh, over this uh, for each row in this data table we will get the data in table row and in table row 5 means this is the salary column so we are checking if salary is less than 70,000 or not so if it is less than 70,000 so what we are doing is we have uh, we are setting the value of this comment uh, field uh, which we have added in this data table so we have we are setting some values to this uh, field means salary is less than 70,000 okay and then we are uh, incrementing the row number by one because uh, it is iterating over rows so row number uh, in, in first uh, iteration it will be zero then it will increment it by one and so on and uh, we can add one else condition also What's about that? Tell me. Go. So if uh, salary is not less than, then we can add if salary is greater than 70,000. Okay. And we will uh, increase this row number by one. We will close this CSV file and then we will, uh, we are using this write to file uh, action of data table. So we are writing this data updated data table into that csv file again because as of now we have added the column in data table not in the csv file and we are making changes or we are adding comments in the data table only we not in csv file 
so at the end we will uh, write that uh, table to the csv file so let's see what will happen let me run the board All right, our board has completed successfully, and let me open this CSV file. And here we go. We can see the comments as uh, updated successfully. Uh, see, salary is greater than seventy thousand because that condition is taking only less than only. We uh, added this condition. If it is less than seventy thousand, but it should be less than equals to, and we can update the comments accordingly. And in the next, uh, it is less than seventy thousand, correct? And uh, eighty-five thousand, it is greater than, and sixty thousand less than. So it has updated all the uh, data in this. So this is how we can get the data from the Excel file and uh, CSV file. Then we can uh, read the data. First of all, we can read the data, and uh, we can get it either in the data table or we can directly process the data row by row, and uh, we can. Uh, Process the data with the help of a loop, and at the end we can uh, write the data back to the CSV file also. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do let me know if you are confused or if you have any doubt in any of the topic or any of uh, if you have any question. So let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.